Good morning, everybody. I saw a video on a tire table, so I thought, hey, I probably have some stuff laying around here. I could probably make one of those. I got a PVC pipe, some old aluminum canopy poles, and there's two small and two large. They'll slide inside of each other, so we're going to give this a go and see what happens. Stay tuned. So here I measured the back of the tire and I'm going to use the PVC as a cross piece on the back side and then on the front of the tire and then the aluminum pieces will be on the side uh, for support. So I'm cutting to length now just to get my lengths and then um, it takes a little trial and error but eventually I uh, get it sided in. So here I am, there's uh, black plastic tips on the smaller aluminum rods, so I'm just marking the holes in the PVC pipe to drill out and then I'll slide the tip in there and then anchor the aluminum pole to the PVC with uh, screw and wire so it stays put. Now I'm going to pre-drill some holes and I'm running some screws into the aluminum pole which will also go into the plastic tip base and keep it stable and then I'll wrap the wire around from the PVC around the screw and then uh, tighten it down real good and it held it pretty tight. So here I had three quarter inch pipe clamps I just bent the flanges down straight and used them to easily screw into the PVC pipe to hold the uh, aluminum tubes on the side and I'll uh, permanently secure those later once I get everything lined up. Got the back PVC pipe on. I had these uh, pipe clamps, so I just bent them so I could slide it right on. All right, got the end piece on. So far, it's coming on nicely. So I'm trying to use everything that I already have in the garage without spending any money. So, so far, so good. Okay, this is what I got so far. I went ahead and cut the longer tubes. Once I put the board and mount it all the way across, this part here will slide out. These tubes slide in so it'll only be that big. And then I'll slide this part out and then the tire will fit in between here. The board will help keep it all solid and uh, not twisted and then I'll mount a leg at the end of the board that'll drop down and support that so so far I've not had to go buy anything I've used everything I've had here and it is working out thanks for sticking with it I'll be back my brother had a scrap piece of wood that he brought down for me which was good so I cut out the best section and now I'm just cleaning it up to so sand it and stain it with um, I think I've got some teak oil left on the shelf so it should look pretty good
instead of painting it, since it's such good looking wood, we've got some leftover teak oil here. Okay, got it stained. And my teak oil looks pretty nice. And then are getting dirty. <clears throat> I went ahead and just these pipe clamps, some fillers to hold it on. And then this of course slides out. I was gonna paint everything black, but since it's metal and that's gonna slide in and out and then scrape off paint and everything's gonna be hidden underneath the table anyway. I figure I'll just leave it alone and then I've got this that's kind of break broken at the bottom. They used to wash cars. Loud. I think I might be able to cut it off and then mount it here. And then you just twist that knob and it, it extends. And use that as a support leg. So... Still holding strong on not having to go to the store and spend any money. And there she is. I'm gonna wipe her off on the top since I was working on it. But yeah, I got this extendable pole. And then this right here is permanently fixed. And this just slides in. The only thing I haven't done is I'm going to take this when it's compressed and I'm going to put it right up there from corner to corner. I got to get a snap ring in there or Velcro or something just to keep that leg tucked up nice into it. So there you go. Um, didn't spend any money. I'm not sure I might have to buy a snap ring or something to snap that in there or Velcro, but. Other than that, I think it turned out pretty good. Comes out pretty far, I think it's like 20 inches deep and 27 inches wide, I believe. So, I think it turned out pretty good considering I just used spare parts laying around my house. So, thanks for watching. Hope this gives somebody else an idea if you can't afford to spend $150 to $175 for the pre made ones. Good luck.